Hello and welcome to 27 or 28th, I'm sorry, Django tutorial. And in today's tutorial, uh, we're going to go ahead and add messages to our uh, template here because, as you can see, if I click unsubscribe, nothing happens. And for a user, that would be uh, a little frustrating because they'd be like, what? And they keep hitting the button, uh, what? Yeah. And, you know, nothing happens. So we're going to go ahead and add messages. Django has a pretty cool message framework that allows us to add messages. So we are going to use that. Let's go ahead and um, get rid of the form so we can keep sign up and unsubscribe because we'll need that. And go ahead and open your views.py file. In here, we're going to go up to the import. Uh, we're going to go up and import. And we're going to import right above Django shortcuts because I like to keep things in alphabetical order so I can find it. And we're going to import um, from, oops, from Django contrib import messages. Now, before we go a little bit further, I remember what I was going to tell you. Um, in your settings, these uh, messages are included. So if you look at middleware, where are you? Right here, message middleware, and up in your apps messages. Um, so the messages frameworks are included into your Django project by default, unless you removed it. All right, back to views. All right, so <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to go ahead and display a um, message where our print statements are, and also after our save or delete, depending on which view we're looking at. So let's go ahead and just take out this print statement here, and let's go ahead and add a message. So what we do is uh, we call messages, so messages, and then we're say period, and this one is for adding, so this would be a, a kind of like a fail message or a uh, warning, if you will. So we can do warning. All right. Now there's several Django messages. There's success. There's warning. There's alert. There's uh, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but there's a bunch of them. Um, and normally what these have to do with is the back end with um, in the admin section. Uh, you could hack your way into having them display on the front end, but we're not going to do that today. We'll show you the proper way to do it. So this takes um, at least two arguments, this uh, warning function here, and the first one's always going to be a request. So we're going to pass request, all right? Um, and it, it wants to be able to tell what kind of request you're sending. Um, if we're sending uh, anything other than, well, We'll hold off on that. I gotta think about that for a second. Anyhow, let's finish doing what we're doing. So the second argument would be um, uh, the string you want to pass in your message. So in this case, we'll say your email already already exists in our database, just like that. All right. And we're going to pass one more argument, and this one's optional. This this has to do with our classes and um, styling of our uh, our message on the front end. So we're going to use the um, Bootstrap alert messages. So we're just going to pass our classes in. Um, so you can look them up if you want, or I can just tell you what they are. They're alert space uh, alert. Uh, which one are we doing? Warning. Warning. And then uh, we're also going to do alert dismissal. So the user can um, dismissible. So the user can remove the message, right? Um, and for this to be easier to read for you guys, we can just do this and bring them all down so it's a little bit easier to read. So, like I said, request is required. This message is required. And then this is just for styling. Uh, it takes a couple more arguments, but I don't remember what they are off the top of my head either. All right, so now after we pass the warning message, let's go ahead and add a message below our save. So if the email exists, we're going to display this message. Your, your email or existing database, we're not doing anything at that point. We're just displaying a message. 
Now, after we save the email to the database, we want to kind of display a message to the user saying, hey, we got your email. Thank you, or something like that. All right, so let's do uh, messages and dot success. And then, like I said, we need to repass, re, uh, pass request. And then we're going to need to add a little some kind of string. So um, let's just say your email has been submitted to the oops to the database. There we go. And then our comma and hit return and we'll come down one more time. And this time we're going to add alert alert success and alert dismissible there we go alright so there are two messages we're gonna display on the newsletter sign up side and let's go down and add two to our um, which we'll call unsubscribe side so this one's gonna be uh, let me figure it out all right, this is going to be a success one because we're going to have deleting. We're using a query, query set delete. And then this one will be our warning. So let's just do messages. And we're going to do a period uh, six, oh, messages with an S. Success and uh, request, comma. And then in a string, we're going to say your email has been removed. Okay. And then comma, and then we're just going to do uh, inside a string, alert, alert, success, and alert, dismissible. All right. And then down here, remove the print statement, because we don't need that anymore. We don't want to print to our console or to our terminal. You know, that doesn't really do us much good unless you're sitting there watching the terminal or the console. So let's do uh, messages and then warning and then a request, comma. In here we'll say your email is not in the database. And we'll, yeah, nope, that's not right. And then we'll pass our CSS classes again. Alert, alert, warning and alert dismissible there you go boom so we set up our views for our messages and we now we're able to pass our messages to our template but we need our templates to be able to handle these um, views so let's go ahead and set up sign up.html first and then we'll go ahead and basically just copy that one and throw it into unsubscribe and just change a couple things so in here, um, let's go below the H3 here. So right here, uh, first thing we want to do is pass an if statement. If messages, all right? So if messages, so if a message is being passed to our template, do something. If not, display the form. Basically, that's our goal. So we're going to do uh, uh, if statement in our template. So it'd be if messages this close that out now we're gonna do a for loop because you can actually pass multiple messages through in our case we're not doing that but uh, Django's documentation suggests that you use a for loop so we will use a for loop all right uh, for message in messages um, and we're gonna end our if I meant to do that before we start it because that's how I like to roll so don't forget. And if um, right above your form, let's add an else statement because we'll display the else. Uh, we'll display the form if there's no messages. And right below your for message here or your for loop, let's do uh, n4. All right. And then in here, we are going to add our message. But I really don't feel like typing HTML code right now. So let's go and get some HTML code. Go to um, getbootstrap.com. Go to components.
Go to alerts. Whoops. Whoops. I dumb messed that one up. There we go. Alright, got alerts. I'm just going to copy this message right here. Copy that. Go back to our page. And I'm going to paste that in right there. And I'm going to tab it over so it looks a little bit nicer and cleaner. Boom, there we go. Alright, so what I want to do here is in front of this div right here, we're going to put another if statement. So if uh, message, since we're in our for loop, our temporary variable, if you will, tags, um, we're going to do something. So if we have ta uh, tags, which tags refer to our CSS tags, our CSS class tags, I should say, then add them in. Um, since we set the CSS classes on all of ours, uh, this, if this if statement is not really necessary, but it's good practice, so we're going to keep it, all right? Um, so in here, let's go ahead and put our variable, so messages, or message, message.tags, no S on the end of messages, and then right after that is end or end if, or end or if with end if. It's a tongue twister. All right. Boom, just like that. So now we can style our um, our alert messages. And one last thing we're going to do is come down here and take out this line here. Oh, whoops. Come up here, tab in, and just put message. All right. Now that all should work, Prefer hopefully, if I did it right. So let's go find out. Let me see if my server is running. It is. Oh, let's open up Jumbotron. Oh, I said Jumbotron because that's the name of our template. Uh, sign up. There we go. And we're just going to sign up for something. So I'm going to say support at mastercode.online. Your email has been submitted to our database. Sweet. One thing I noticed that didn't work is our styling. What did I do? Message tags. Why didn't you work? Should have been style. If message tag and if message tag. <coughs> Um, mm, mm, mm. where we were here, success, ah, uh, did I spell success wrong? Sorry, I did, it's two C's, there we go, now go back and let's try this again, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, of course, the server's going to be slow. Uh, let's add another one. Uh, I'm going to add one that's n probably not in there. There's my personal email address. There we go. That's the style I was looking for. Your email's been submitted to the class, or to the database. And we can close it out because it's dismissible. And then let's go back and go ahead and add another one just to see what happens when we add it twice up oh, your email already exists in our database sweet so we're getting messages back to the user that's cool right um let's go ahead and do unsubscribe real quick let's just do this let's go to our sign up command a command c unsubscribe command a command ooh, i hit the wrong button command c command V here after you highlight it, I'll unsubscribe, paste it in, pasty pasty, and then come down and change this to unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, and then up here, change this to uh, unsubscribe from. Yeah, it looks good. Now. Well, let's go back into our browser and unsubscribe, unsubscribe, there we go, 
Now let's try to unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Boom. See ya. All right, let's try it one more time. On um, email address, it's not in there. Let's try. Um, well, the one I just removed because that's no longer in it. There we go. Your email is not in the database. So that works. All right, next tutorial, we're going to actually configure our Django project to send emails. All right, so I'll see you then.